This next video illustrates the CMOL software's market risk module. To get started, click on the market risk and here you will see market data tab, sub tab, value at risk, central bank var, and results visual. So we start from left to right by going to the market data sub tab. You can enter as many number of investment assets as you wish. In this example, uh, we just loaded the uh, default example by clicking on the file on menu icon and load example and we went to the market risk market data sub tab. Here we show an illustration of nine assets. So you see here asset one to asset nine and by the way you can overwrite the names of these uh, assets as necessary to make it reflect whatever your asset is. Number of currency assets, here we have two as an illustration. Again you can add as many as you wish. We have dollar and we have euros. Number of historical data rows that pertains to the number of rows of data that you want to enter. In this case, the default uh, example was 500 rows. You can, again, you know, go as many rows as you wish, up to thousands, um, and enter in two levels of VAR, value at risk percentiles. So typically, you would use a 99%, 99.5, or 95%, and so forth. So entirely, again, up to you how you want to set this up. Um, you can also choose to use EWMA or exponentially weighted moving average volatility by risk metrics or it's standard volatility calculation. The standard volatility is what we recommend as the default and that's just nothing but the annualized volatility of the natural log of the uh, relative returns of the historical prices. So standard applications. Um, and finally, you can use days, months and years or months, days and years depending on the country and location you're in. Um, in here, you can paste in the data. Uh, in this example, it was days, months, and years. So therefore, days, months, years. Um, historical data, in this case, so the 19th of July, the 22nd of July, and so forth. So in chronological order, um, going down as many uh, data points as you wish, in this case. Um, in my example, we went all the way through to uh, the 31st of July, year 2014. And in here, you can type in your data for various assets, historical prices or asset values. Um, or you can use Microsoft Excel. If you have Excel, for instance, let's say this is your historical data. All you need to do is select this, right click and do a copy or just control C, if you will. And go to the relative location that you want to paste this into and then just do a control V to paste it. And again, it's just control V to paste. So you can paste in one column, multiple rows, multiple columns, all at the same time. is entirely up to you. And do not forget, of course, put in the uh, investment valuation in this case. What is the total investment uh, value of each of these different assets? And once you're done with this, you can give a name to your model. In this example, I'll just say my new model. And you can do a save as. And it will be listed on a new save data set. So as you can see, you can save as many data sets as you wish with different or varying different uh, degrees of inputs, different VAR percentiles, for example, different ways of calculating volatility. Um, you can rearrange the sequence of events and this will list out all of your save models with, uh, with respect to your data, settings and so forth, and of course the results. And do not forget again, of course, to click on save. When you do a save, as uh, you saw in previous uh, videos, you do a save as, it will save the entire um, software application here as a single unified encrypted file, okay, so that you can actually open that file again and make edits as necessary. So you can double click on it to open up that existing file. Uh, you can click on edit and make any changes as you wish and click on save to save that file, all right. So in this example, I will just double click on the example model one, which I have set up in this case. Um, and you're done. Next thing is you go to the secondary um, sub-tab, you go to value at risk and you would see your gross VAR, value at risk, your internal historical simulation VAR. So we do a historical simulation based on your historical data in this case. And you have your 99% and 95% depending again on your inputs on uh, your VAR percentile here. So here we've entered two VAR percentiles and therefore we do two sets of internal historical simulations on total values, the bonds only and currency only. When we say bonds, we're looking at all the different various assets and currency are the two currencies in this case. So we also list out the various assets, asset one to nine and also your two currencies, um, the daily volatilities of all these different assets, the position, the weights, 
and your one day, five day, and ten day value at risk at your 99% and 95% one, five, and ten day VARs. And again, the uh, VAR percentages, percentiles, depending on your uh, user input in this case. Next, we can actually see a central bank value at risk as well. Um, in a lot of various countries, what you're asked to do is provide an NPV of various positions of different assets. In this case, we have a sample of uh, you know, 20 assets. So you can, again, create as many assets as you wish. In this case, when we, have a, when we talk about a single asset, you have an asset type name and an asset volatility, in this case, that's provided by the central bank. So, for example, asset T02405 okay, has this MPV positions for the past 331 days, I'm sorry, for the past month. So this is a monthly uh, type analysis. And here you have a daily value at risk that's calculated for you. Um, and you have another type of asset, and you would enter in the data, copy-paste from Microsoft Excel or uh, Word document, text document, or any of your database uh, flat files, um, and you will computed the VAR will be computed for you automatically again you can save the data set you can save as many data sets as you wish and you can resurrect that and see the results very quickly so let's say this is my central sample central bank VAR that is uh, resurrected in this case with uh, three assets you can also similarly go to results visual and you can see your results visual of your value at risk that was calculated previously as you saw your gross VAR, your internal historical simulations, and so forth. Then you can select anything that you want on here to view as a visual representation. So for instance, gross value at risk for one day, five day, and 10 day. Your internal historical simulation of 99% uh, for total values, bonds only, currency only, and so forth. And you're able to view these graphically. And in this example, um, we won't go into detail, but later on, uh, once you're done with running all the models, what we'll do is we will create a report and a report will extract all of the figures, all of the results, all of the you know, data and the input assumptions and so forth into a single unified Excel file with multiple worksheets. So that way you can actually archive your Microsoft Excel file if you wish. That comes at a later point when we're done looking at all of the uh, various modules.